From his compound in Kahawa West, Gabriel Nderitu has assembled an aircraft from scratch and is now polishing it for a test run in Kitengela next week. His neighbors witnessing his workmanship for the first time are wowed by his skills. Surprisingly though, he is no engineer and has no background in aviation engineering. My boyhood interest was in aviation. So maybe it was a missed career which I'm trying to, to recreate or something. This is the outcome of an extensive six-month research on the internet. He has attached a 74-inch propeller to the engine that turns at 4,000 rotations per minute. He says the aircraft is powered using a Toyota NZD engine. And the elevator lifts the nose up or down, the nose of the aircraft up or down. So when you'd want to climb up, you would push the elevator up. This aircraft is indeed unique as it is completely detachable, a feature that enables him to transport it by road, an added advantage as he takes it for the test run. As he wheels the aircraft's skeleton structure for assembly outside his compound, one begins to doubt its stability looking at this front wheel. But he says there is no cause for alarm as they will fix some shock absorbers. Some, a bit of it was a bit of reinventing the wheel, not really looking and uh, trying to copy. So it's a matter of reading the sounds of it. It is an aircraft meant to carry only two people and weighs 800 kilograms when fully assembled. It begins to take shape when he fixes the tails and the wings made of aluminium sheets. But he says the body will be complete when he fixes the windscreen and covers the nose. He has been working on this for one year during weekends alongside five men whom he employed for welding. Considering that two Kenyans have tried making aircrafts before, Derito is crossing his fingers that this time it will take off. Sylvia Chibet, Citizen Live at 9.